it's 2022 already. Why are we still messing about with wires when we can have a wireless setup like this? Yes, it is sponsored by Action. I'm gonna give you some reason why this kind of setup is totally mint. Something like this is incredibly useful when you're filming yourself and you wanna check to see if your balls are falling out of your shorts. So if you're that one man band YouTuber slash filmmaker and you've got your camera set up across the other side of the garden, you might need a monitor close to you to see what's going on. So as you probably guessed, this is a transmitter slash receiver which lets you monitor stuff from really far away. Let's check out the range. See ya. Fuck, it's steep. <laughs> Much easier for me yeah, you can, I can see you. Oh. So it's I've got the actual number. Log's just sitting down now. This is this is great for him. He's over there. Oh, <laughs> so the thing is with this it uses a dual band setup. It operates at two frequencies and if there's any missing information on any of those frequencies it will just fill in with the other frequency if that makes sense so there shouldn't be any interference i can still see the footage i can see myself as a tiny little speck there i think i made my point i don't need to i don't need to do the rest of the video down there do i another reason why this makes sense is because it's really easy to set up straight out of the box basically switch it on as long as you've got charged batteries you're ready to go this is the first time I used it, I've quite literally just unpacked it, put the battery in, switched it on, and the paired. Simple as. Because on the side, they're both set to number one, which means they're on group one. So they're paired and ready to go. So yeah, not too many buttons on the body of the receiver or the transmitter. Just four buttons on the front to control everything, but you don't really need to do much. It's wireless and it connects, it's super easy. But here's some settings. There's, there's all of three settings on there. Look, looky right there. So as you can see here, we've got transmission set. We got HD quality normal and speed. Oh, it's gone, it's gone. The emphasis is on high quality. So if we look at the really overexposed video there, well, you can see a tiny bit of latency, but that's because it's set HQ. Let's try our normal setting. So right, let's just go for speed. I don't know, for some reason, the previous transmitters and receivers always felt a little bit kind of, a little bit geeky, a little bit kind of, oh, it's for video productions, but it feels like because it's quite easy to use, it's quite simple. It feels like this will appeal more to, uh, you know, low budget productions. Internet people. Now, an Axon Cineview HE is one of the more affordable transmitter receiver packages available, and the latency of it is quite low, which means you get quite a lot of, or quite a little amount of latency for your money, which is a good thing. It means that the wireless element is not the weak link. I've, I've seen worse on some on-camera LCD screens. <laughs> um, Nikon? <laughs> Sorry, Nikon. So LCD screen, it's big enough to see all the information that you need, and it's got quite a simple interface. On that side, you've got the little dial to select the groups, you've got power in, and HDMI is on this side, which is currently on the same side as it is on the camera. But of course, if you've got the screen facing you, using the camera, then it's gonna be on the other side. Now we have a bit of a problem. It's testing the springiness of this cable. No, that's just fine. It's just about fine. I think it's because when you compare it to say monitor, monitor's wider, so therefore it will stretch out this kind of cable a bit. But because it's quite small, you can spin it around and it's still not a problem. There's not much to say about these transmitters. They transmit stuff. <laughs> they transmit, one, one of them transmits stuff, one of them receives stuff, and it just works. As, as long as it kind of works, there's no interference, and you can go really far away. <laughs> That's all right, isn't it? Okay, the third good reason for this kind of setup is that you don't have to just have one monitor. You can have more than one monitor, 
plus your phone. Oh, there we are. Easy. And it's, uh, you can hear the sound. You can record it as well. 1080p, 60 frames per second speed. Let's see the range on this. Let's so you don't that. even need that re receiver? No, you don't. It's just one transmitter on the camera and your phone. I mean, arguably you could say, oh, I'll, I'll choose the Panasonic or the Sony app, but this is... That, those are crap. <laughs> yeah, to cut it short, to get straight to the point, they're rubbish. It's got the range, that's good. What's the delay like? I mean, latency is not too bad. Could be worse. Perhaps the only issue is that the image is mirrored, so left is right, right is left. There's really not much to complain about. This is really good value for money. And especially on the app, you can do quite a number of things. Look at that. Everything peaking. Now, the fourth and final reason for this setup being a good one is because it's not just useful for wirelessly monitoring stuff. It's got some clever stuff as well. On the receiver, you can connect up to your computer via USB-C, which means you can use it for Facebooking. Not Facebooking, FaceTime. We can, we can cut that bit out. But you can also go live with it. You can make, you can, you can go, you can do your Twitch, you can do YouTube live, but also be, you can connect the receiver to your computer via USB-C and you can oh. use it as a zoom camera. <laughs> that's that's yeah. Leo. Yeah, I mean, you can, you, can, you can do your zoom call. You can do zoom calls like that, like, yeah, hi. Good to see you. I, I can't ask you. I can't see you, but uh, it's nice to see you anyway. Now in a minute, I've got hooked up with a Sony, so I don't really have to worry about focus, but if I'm using it with an S5, I'll probably use it with this for follow focus, just to focus it while I'm away from the camera. Pretty handy stuff. I'm not sponsored to talk about this, but I just thought it was pretty cool. So there we are, wireless is the future. Well, actually it's not the future, it's already here. It's been here for quite some time, but I don't understand why we're not making some stuff like this wireless because it just makes sense and you can get the setup in the link below see ya <laughs>